Do you want to do conditional fields in your gravity forms? So when somebody selects something, you reveal another type of field? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a number of different ways and how I've implemented this technique using gravity forms. Let's jump on in. I'll show you how it works. So inside this form, we have a number of items that are what we consider conditional logic. That's when something within your setup provides a true response or is available, then show other fields. So here, for example, if I choose the Saturday, Sunday combo like that, we end up with these preferred golf link numbers. So when you're playing golf and you're in these kinds of events, you can have a preferred partner. That means that you can put that person's um, playing partner inside of there. And if I change it to just Saturday, I get just one of them. If I have Sunday, I just have the Sunday field. If I have both of them, I have both fields. Further down, we also have, would you like a dinner reservation? And if I say yes, it just says what day. Do you have Friday, Saturday or Sunday as your dinner reservation? And if no, then there's no dinner reservation. So this is how we can go about creating logic within Gravity Forms. So we're gonna take a look at this form now and I'll show you how I've created these different types of conditions and how we make those forms act this way. So let's go to the WordPress admin. We're gonna to go to our form and go to the form editor. So now that I'm on the form editor, we need to scroll down and we take a look at the fields that we want to show conditionally. So if I click on the preferred golf link partner for Sunday, and then I scroll down to the conditional logic on the right hand side, we can see that this comes up and when it's active and when I open it, we can see that it says show all when days of play field contains 4BB. So you can see here that there's two types of conditions here that can be satisfied with two fields. One is the Saturday Sunday combo with 4BB and the other one's the Saturday with the 4BB. So that's how we can see that we've got the preferred partner for what is called the 4BB event. So I say show all in the days of play contains 4BB. If we take a look at the Sunday item, we have to do similar conditional logic. Show all if days of play contains 27. So I've put 27 hole open on the Saturday Sunday combo and 27 hole open on the Sunday event. Because I'm looking for the condition to satisfy 27, either of these can turn the field on. So actually two conditions from this days of play will show it. And we did that by saying contains. Now, when we move further down, we had our reservation field. And you can see here that we've got that reservation field there that can be yes or no. This one's slightly different because in this conditional logic, I can say enable the condition logic to show this field if all of the following match. And it says, would you like a dinner reservation? And in this case, I've put is yes. I could also say is not no, but that would mean that it would show by default. So if I say is yes, then only when this becomes yes, will it show. If I said is not no, or is not empty or something like that, then the field would show and then disappear. So the reason why this is important is because the less fields you have in a form, the more likely it is going to be complete. All right, so there's a correlation. Less fields in a form, more completions. So we only want to show the number of fields that are required for someone to complete. And then if they do conditional items while they're filling that form out, then reveal those additional items that they'll have to complete to do the form. So let's take a look now at another field and we will add a brand new item underneath dinner times. So let me just say here, we're gonna add another field. Here, I'm just gonna add a checkbox. And this will say diet requirements. So I'm gonna add a field label here for diet requirements. Please let us know your diet requirements. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is do a conditional logic again. And then I can enable that and then say show if and then we select what we've got. Would you like a dinner's reservation is yes, like that. And then I'm gonna edit the choices here 
and say vegan, um, gluten free, and vegetarian. Like that. So now the diet requirements will also show if you have a dinner reservation item. I'll save that. And then let's go take a look at our registration form again. So now that we've got that particular field, if I say yes, we now have the dinner and the diet requirements as well. So you can choose all of those. Just like that. So if I go no, then the dinner times and the diet requirements disappear. Yes, they appear. So that's a great way to be able to show how those conditional requirements work. Um, of course, there's all sorts of different things you can chain up with conditional requirements, including showing pages and showing raw HTML as well, if you want to show additional messages. Well, I hope you liked that quick tip for Gravity Forms and doing conditional fields. There's a whole heap of different things you can do with turning on pages and turning on fields and buttons by using this technique. If you like this video, why don't you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if there's anything you wanna know, you can leave a comment below let me know what you would like to know about Gravity Forms or WordPress and I'll make a video about it. See you in the next one.